Will Vexisco Aptera's EMR3 new motor design be better than original Elef hub motors? First, we're excited to announce that Aptera will source distributed drive platform technologies from Alafe. Alafe is a technology leader for in-wheel powertrains, and this agreement includes a detailed plan to scale production to high series in Slovenia and then extend production to the U.S. Aptera argues that switching from hub motors to a more traditional drive unit was a deliberate decision to ensure the timely manufacturing of its highly anticipated solar-powered vehicle. Aptera claims that by focusing on proven technology and simplifying manufacturing processes, it is preparing itself to compete in the rapidly expanding EV industry. The Aptera's unique combination of solar charging, exceptional efficiency, and a focus on repairability sets it apart from other electric vehicles, making it an appealing option for both early adopters and environmentally sensitive buyers. Aptera's transition to a more traditional drive unit, specifically Vitesco's EMR3 motor, is based on the company's claim that it can meet its production deadline without further delays. However, this will undoubtedly come at a cost. It is possible that the vehicle's overall efficiency will be slightly lower than what hub motors would have provided. It's a necessary move. Will Aptera's new EMR3 motor design outperform the original Elaf Motors hub? Someone left a Facebook comment. It reads, If the Vitesco EMR3 is more powerful than the two Elaf hub motors combined, why has the 0 to 60 miles per hour time increased to 6 seconds? Also, what about torque? Stay tuned as we break it down for you. Hello and welcome back. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you, and stay tuned. Introducing the Vitesco EMR3. The acronym EMR3 stands for Electronics Motor Reducer, third generation. EMR3 axle drive is a platform that combines up to three drive system components in one unit, an electric motor, power electronics, and a reducer. The EMR3 is one of the most popular tier one axle drive systems on the market due to its small size, low weight, high efficiency, and ease of vehicle connection. By the end of March 2024, more than 900,000 EMR3 Vitesco Technologies units had been delivered to various brands and models around the world. This integrated drive unit is installed in more than 20 distinct vehicle models. Notably, it powers Honda's CRV E FCEV, which will be available in the United States and Japan later in 2024. However, it has already been used in Stellantis cars such as the Peugeot E208 and the Opel Corsa E. The EMR3 has a permanent magnet synchronous motor architecture, which means it cannot freewheel while not driven. This removes the prospect of turning off the EMR3 while relying on a rear hub motor for economy at highway speeds. Asterisk for the first time, Vitesco Technologies' drive system has been integrated into a hydrogen fuel cell electric car. According to Vitesco Technologies, the proven Vitesco Technologies electric axle drive is seamlessly integrated into the fuel cell car. EMR3 axle drive provides proven mature technology, energy efficiency, and appealing driving dynamics, while Vitesco Technologies' fuel cell bypass valve regulates airflow to and from the vehicle's fuel cell stack. Aptera, on the other hand, collaborated with Elif to design a unique hub motor that was specially adapted to Aptera's weight and driving cycle. These motors are directly installed on the wheels and have integrated brake components, which distinguishes them from the EMR3 design. Despite their long-term promise, hub motors are relatively new and untested in mass-market automobiles. Aptera's decision to adopt a centralized drive unit, which has been successfully deployed in multiple existing cars, reduces risk and ensures the company's ability to satisfy manufacturing goals for its launch edition model. When it comes to weight, when comparing the EMR3 to the Elef hub motor, there is a weight difference. The EMR3 drive unit weighs 167 pounds, and the CV drive axles weigh 15 pounds apiece, bringing the total to 197 pounds. In contrast, the LFEM 700 hub motors, which were previously utilized in Aptera prototypes, weigh approximately 50 pounds each and produce 67 horsepower. When combined with the requisite power inverters, which weigh roughly 22 ohms each, the overall system weight for three hub motors and inverters is around 233 pounds. The weight difference between these two systems, while just 36 pounds, is important for a vehicle like the Aptera, where every 25 to 30 pounds added reduces range by around 1% due to its high efficiency. Why the transition from hub motors? There has been talk that Aptera may abandon Elefi's hub motors for its all-wheel drive technology. Sandy Munro hinted at this in an interview with Peter Gruber, 
claiming that Aptera's switch to the Vitesco EMR3 was due to supply concerns with Elephi. Integrating the EMR3 into the Aptera chassis necessitated major adjustments, including upgrades to the chassis, suspension, and other components, which was a difficult but necessary decision given the circumstances. Now the swap is a reality. The future of Aptera's drive system. Despite the drive unit simplification, Aptera is committed to the long-term aim of incorporating LF hub motors into future vehicle generations. However, in the near future, the company's priority is to create a dependable, efficient, and market-ready vehicle. This strategic pivot highlights Aptera's capacity to react to problems in the changing EV landscape, allowing it to reach production targets while keeping its reputation for innovation. Conclusively, the Pi 2 chassis has arrived in Carlsbad and is presently being constructed. Chassis parts for the Pi 3 and 4 are in production and should arrive in the next weeks. Although these parts are modeled after production geometry, they are machine components rather than final production equivalents. The low-pressure forge and extruded pieces will be delivered later this year, allowing the team to meet deadlines and confirm the production design. According to the investment deck, Aptera plans to sell only 371 vehicles when low-volume production begins in early 2025. That figure jumps to 11,000 in 2026, with Aptera increasing to 20,000 annually after that. With $1.7 billion in potential order revenue, the market is there and early investors have aided Aptera Motors' progress thus far. However, the second phase will require more secured funding sooner, and this demand for capital will only grow as the company strives to build and ideally exert influence in the EV sector. Aptera Motors Corp. produces the world's most technologically advanced solar electric vehicles CVs, made possible by breakthroughs in battery efficiency, aerodynamics, material science, and manufacturing. Aptera is the first of numerous ecologically friendly automobiles that the company plans to offer for both personal and professional use. It has the longest range of any production vehicle with up to 1,000 miles per charge and can go up to 40 miles each day on free electricity from its integrated solar panels. Aptera's innovative design with only six key body components allows it to glide through the air while using substantially less energy than other electric and hybrid vehicles on the market today. Aptera's successful crowdfunding campaigns have allowed the company to collaborate with U.S. Capital to raise cash for the production of its launch edition autos. Aptera's fundraising initiative aims to bring its unique vehicles to market at scale by 2025. U.S. Capital Global is backing the solar EV firm with its current investment round, which will contain up to $60 million in convertible notes. Aptera intends to utilize this funding to finish production purpose SEV prototypes for crash testing before beginning very low volume production in early 2025. According to U.S. Capital's Aptera investor presentation, the company will have enough funds to build 10 to 12 validation prototypes, complete crash testing, and make 10 to 15 production intent vehicles for sale. According to U.S. Capital Global's CEO, it's been a great deal sticking around to this point. That wraps it up for the moment. What do you think? Is Aptera's ENMR3 NU motor design better than the original LF Motors hub? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and turn on the bell notification icon to stay up to speed with new video uploads. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.